the new CW slash um, DC Universe show, it's airing on both um, networks, Stargirl, is doing well enough because they've just greenlit it for season two. But interestingly, curiously enough, season two is only going to air on the CW. It's not going to be on, C on the DC Universe um, streaming network as season one is. Season one of Stargirl airs on both networks basically at the same time. But season two is going to dump DC Universe and be exclusively for the CW. Um, now, I guess ordinarily this is just average news. You know, a season one of a show happens and they greenlit season two. Here's where you can see it, right? And it's good news for Stargirl, um, right? Stargirl fans in the show, you get to see more of Stargirl. But looking beneath the surface, um, it is very interesting that they're ditching, you know, DC Universe for season two. So does that mean, is that another nail in DC Universe's coffin, right? Stargirl will be yet another new show that is being taken off of that, you know, premium subscription service and put somewhere else, right? Harley Quinn has already been taken off of there, the animated show, and it's going to be on HBO Max. Um, Doom Patrol is simultaneously airing on um, DC Universe and HBO Max right now. Um, and there's a couple of other shows that are the same way. So what the hell is going on here? Um, I think it could be. I think it could be, you know, that um, as DC Universe loses more and more shows to other networks, um, that means DC Universe isn't going to have anything. And it could be this is just another, another, another step in their plan to phase DC Universe out. I reported a little bit a while ago that now they're adding, adding like a dual, like for one subscription price, you get DC Universe and HBO Max together, right? Like if you already subscribe to DC Universe, you pay a $4.99 upgrade, you get HBO Max too. So it's almost like you're paying one price for both services as a package deal. I mean, sort of like they're about to be merged into one service, merged into just HBO Max. So if they're going to merge, get rid of DC Universe and, you know, fold it into HBO Max, it makes sense that they would start, you know, basically, you know, um, scavenging its corpse. <laughs> you know, taking this show off of, you know, DC Universe, putting it over here, another show off of DC Universe, putting it over there. Because, you know, DC Universe, as we know, another year or two, I don't think it's going to exist. But, you know, right now, the only DC Universe show that's still on there is Titans. And Titans is actually um, pretty popular among DC shows. So I do wonder, you know, if that's next. Um, once Titans is taken off DC Universe, then we'll know that that, that that streaming network is done. Because then it will have absolutely nothing left at all, right? No original shows that's only on it. Um, so we'll see. So stay, if you're curious about the fate of DC Universe... Pay close attention to what happens with Titans, because I think once we know what happens with Titans, we'll finally have our answer. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel, because I appreciate your viewership, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.